Hey guys, it's May May, and tonight I thought I would do a teddy bear parade um, tutorial. I, this can sometimes be kind of daunting. I've noticed that like I'll kind of want to make a card out of it, but it sometimes it may just be me and maybe it's my simple mind, but I'll be like, that's just too much work. I'm just going to do something easier, but it's really not that hard. I want to show you how to make it really simple. So here's what we're going to do. The first thing you'll need, you'll need your teddy bear parade little booklet that comes with the cartridge and you're going to need whatever sentiment you want. So you pick your sentiment. Now I have a new set of stamps that I'm going to use. These are my newest set from May May Made It from Impressions. It's called Berry Sentimental and I'm going to, they're all bear themed except for a couple of them can work for other animals and I'll show you how that works too. But tonight I think I want to use this one that says so very proud of you. So that's the one I've picked. So I've picked my sentiment. I know where I'm going and there's this little graduation bear right here and I'm going to lift this up so you can see him. See the little graduation bear? And while I'm holding it here, I'm going to show you the, the way to do this to make this easy. If you want it to look just like the little bear that they have there, all you need to do is cut these colors right here. Just exactly what they have. Now, before you get started doing any of this outfit, you need to cut the bear. And here's the cool thing about the teddy bear um, parade cartridge. This is the only bear you will ever cut. There are no more bears, just one. So that simplifies it already because to make any of these cuts on this cartridge, which continue to the back side as well, in order to make any of these cuts, you'll only cut one bear. That's all there okay. is. So for my bear, I need the dark brown, the black, and the paler brown. And so here's what I've done. I've cut a dark brown piece here. I've cut a tan piece here. And then I've cut a black piece here. Now these pieces are three and a quarter by four. I'm going to cut my bear at three inches. That's pretty standard for what I do on a card because I think that's a good size. So I'm going to cut him at three inches and he'll fit on these pieces. So that is your bear. Now let's look at the costume. You notice there are one, two, three, four cuts here to create this little outfit. The first cut is a pale gray or white or whatever you decide. I'm going to go with white because it's going to cut his undershirt and his diploma. So there's a piece of white. The next layer is black for his glasses, his cap, and his gown. So I'm going to use a black. Then that next layer is red for his tie and his little wrap for his diploma. And then the last layer I'm going to do in gold, a little sparkly gold for a little jazz, and that'll be his tassel and his V. So now let's lay it out on our mat. I want to show you how I do that too. So now you're going to need your Cricut mat and here's how we're going to lay it out. I like to lay it out in the order that I'm going to make the cuts and this is the first order. Now your Cricut mat loads into your machine this way. So the first cut will be here and it will work its way this way. So here's how we're going to load it. We're going to put his body here. We're then going to put the blackout shadow portion here and then his tummy and ears here. Now, if you have room after you've put that on, and I do have a pretty good bit of space. I'm going to turn it this way. Remember, it goes in the Cricut this way, okay? So, we'll be cutting first, second, third. If you have room, you can put your next piece here, but I'm going to go down to the next line. And the next thing we're going to do, just in order with what it shows here, is we're going to, we're going to cut his shirt here. Ooh, sticky enough. We're going to cut his cap and gown here, his red tie here. And then lastly, his mortar, um, not his mortarboard, but his tassel and then his little scarf piece. So now I have them all on my mat, just how I need them. Now remember, it's going to go into the Cricut this way. So the first piece is going to cut here. So all I have to do is load it up and it'll be ready to cut. I'll let it cut the first piece and then I'll go to the next and then the next. Now, just to show you this, on this cartridge at the top, up here it tells you which button to push to get which one this is the base it says no shift and the teddy bear button when you go to cut the second one you're going to hit shift teddy bear the next cut is going to be layer button no shift teddy bear and you don't have one here so let's start with those right now so now as you can see all the pieces are cut we have his body his shadow his tummy and ears and nose his glasses, his little ribbon and tassel, his tie, and his little um, di diploma holder. That's a diploma, that's a shirt, I don't know if you can see it, and then his 
shirt shadow or actually I guess this is his gown so now it's time to assemble him and what I'm gonna do is just turn the video to fast forward so you can guys you can watch what I'm doing but you don't have to watch every little bit and a couple of things I want to tell you first number one when cutting the costume over allow on your paper because some of these costumes will cut for example this one messed me up because it cut this the glasses and oops his mortarboard's not here oh it's right here it cut um this the glasses and the mortarboard together but it did it kind of long so you want to overdo your paper it's better to have too much than too little so now let's put them together and we'll start with his base oh the other little tip i want to give you is i'm going to use my quickie glue pen because this is easy to maneuver and it goes really fast Okay, so to finish this off, I'm going to use a little bit of red and white Baker's twine. And I've already put the adhesive on here with the ATG because that just kind of helps you lay this on. And I'm going to lay it in this area here. Just wrap it several times. Just kind of up and around itself just for some color really. It's not, you know, doesn't have to be too fancy. Then stick that down. Gonna cut this off. All right, and then this goes on to our card. Just like so. Press that down good. I think I'm gonna put like a little knot or a little bow over here. Now I'm gonna pop this guy up on some dimensionals. And I can slide this because I got a little too close but it will slide because I just tied it on. There we go. All right, let's put him on some dimensionals. He is so cute. I love this stamp set. <laughs> stamp set. I love this cartridge. He's so cute. That kind of gives him like something to stand on. Kind of cute. And last, we're going to put our sentiment on. And this sentiment comes from my new um, stamp set, which releases tonight or today. This is available now in my store on my website, which is um, maymaymadeit.com. And I'll just go through them real quick. You've got Grin and Barrett, so very proud of you. You make life bearable. Bear one another's burdens. Just be Paul's. Very thankful. Pause and enjoy life. Sending you a very big thanks. I can barely wait to see you. Bear hug is right here. Wishing you a very happy birthday. I'm very glad we're friends. I love you very much. Have a very Merry Christmas. Bear footin'. Think positive and get bearder soon. So this is available in my store. It's $10.99 and then there's shipping to um, America or to um international shipping as well is on there so you can use you can um, purchase it no matter where you're at so this is it um again like last time there's 30 of them in the store that's what i've got i can order more if i need them but that's where we are so this is my release today and you're going to see the design team doing some cute stuff with it every day starting today so to, today you see mine tomorrow you'll see someone else's so hang on you'll get to see all that okay so i'm going to use the one that says so very proud of you for graduation and I'm gonna do it in tuxedo black to go with our card. And I might should have done this before I put the twine on, but I don't think it's gonna interfere. And I'm gonna put it kind of over to the side. So very proud of you. That is so cute. I'll hold it up and show it to you. So there it is. So very proud of you. I love it. 
He's so cute. All right, guys, don't forget to go to the website and check out the new stamp set. Hang out and watch the design team and see what they're going to do all this week. And I will catch you later. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.